Hey there everyone, welcome to a new plugin showcase for a Bed Wars minigame and we're going to be showcasing Screaming Bed Wars and this is a free plugin that is on Spaghetti that you guys can go download but this is sort of a remastered version of Bed Wars Reloaded and it does work on 1.8 to 1.15 but keep in mind if you are running a 1.8 server uh, there are some new features that won't work as well as some other bugs uh, because the uh, support has been dropped for 1.8 uh, but you can still run it but it just won't have as good a support and it won't run as well so I just want to keep that in mind. So to get started we can go ahead and do a slash bw and then at main lobby and let's go ahead and set the main lobby right here so this will be your main lobby uh, if you are running a bungee cord network this plugin will work for that as well uh, but I'm using multiple worlds uh, but this is gonna be my main lobby for bed wars uh, and then I'm gonna have a stats over here real quick so we can do uh, bw and then we can do add hollow and now we'll just add the hologram right here so that looks really nice so next step that you need to do is go ahead and make your arena or create it. Uh, this is a schematic. I will leave the link down in the description if you guys want to use this map uh, for your Bed Wars uh, arena. So anyways, the command to register the arena, we can do BW admin, and then we're going to do a name, so whatever name that you want to call this. So I'm going to head and call this like Spire, like a nice name. So you can do Spire, and then we're going to add it. So now the arena Spire has been added. So now we need to go ahead and set the different locations. So I'm going to head and set my first position down here. So this is sort of like world edit. You want to make it a cube so the first position is going to be down low and then you're going to go up to the other corner and set the higher position so we can do a bw admin uh, our name is spire and then we can go ahead and set position one i'm going to go to my other corner up over here looking this way and then now we can go ahead and do a bw admin our name and then position two and that will go ahead and set the positions uh, for our arena once we have set the locations we can go ahead and set a lobby location for the specific arena so i'm going to head it and set it up here because uh, when people click the signs in the main lobby they'll be teleported up here above the map and they can see the map and then they'll be teleported into the game so to set the lobby we can do bw admin the name of the lobby and then we can set a lobby and so that will set the position right here and then next we can set a spectator location because this is when a player dies they'll be teleported to this location right here in the middle of the map so that's pretty much the map creation and getting your position registered now let's go ahead and start making up the team so to do that we can do bw admin and then our arena name spire and then we can go team add and then now we can add the name so we can go ahead and add a specific name so uh typically you go by colors uh so we can do red and then now we can set the color of that specific team i'm going to have the team red and the same for the red team so just like that and then now we can set the max players so you can have like doubles you can have uh, quadruples uh, so whatever one that you want i'm going to do a solo for this one so we'll go ahead and do one just like so so once you created your team you can add uh, multiple teams as you want but now you need to set the spawns for that specific team so i want the the spawn to be right here for the red team because that is the red bed so we'll do team and then spawn and then this is going to be the red team so we'll go ahead and set it right there and then now we need to go set the bed up here for that specific player so make sure you're looking at the top of the bed and then just change it to bed and then the team name which is red just like so so now we set all those locations now we need to set the spawners for the specific ores that are going to be spawning so uh, for this plugin uh, there is three different types of ores there's something called the bronze and then uh, iron and gold so you can change these all in the config but by default this is how it recognizes it so i'm going to set the starting location right here so we can do a bw admin and then our map name which is spire and then you can do spawner and then add and then now we can set the different ones so uh, the starting economy is going to be bronze and that is the lowest one uh, so we'll go ahead and set the bronze and then now we can also enable the hologram if you want it true or false uh, by default isn't enabled to true so we can go ahead and just uh, add it right there so now our spawner bronze has been added right there so now we need to set a store for our location so this is sort of like the villagers uh, so this is going to be the shop in other words and so we can go um, come here and then we can do bw admin our name uh, store and then we can go ahead and do add and then you can also have the name of the specific shop so uh, you can also make this a custom name so uh, we could do like a shop all right so that would be the custom name and just go ahead and hit enter and that will go ahead and add it to our position so you can also uh, change the type of entity as well so we can also do the store and then you also do a type 
and then you can set whatever type of uh, mob that you want. So like say you want a gas, then you can have a gas for the spawner shop. So which would be kind of cool because you might take up uh, quite a bit of room here, but I think it would be a co pretty cool feature. And so once you have done that, that's pretty much everything that you need to do for the specific arenas. Now you just need to copy that same exact thing that you did and uh, duplicate it to all the other teams that you want. So I'm gonna make another team and it's gonna be my blue team. So we'll do Spire and then uh, Team add and then we're just going to call this blue and then we're going to have the color as blue and then the max players is going to be one just like so now we need to set the spawn again so we'll come right here and we'll just go ahead and remove this to spawn and then make sure it's the blue team then we can set the blue bed Go ahead and set a bronze spawner right here. Set the store and then set the type to gas. And there we go. So now we got all the spawns set up and the last thing that you need to do is save the arena. So to do that, we can do BD, BD admin, our name, and then we can go ahead and save it just like so. So that will save the entire arena. If you guys need to come in and edit a few things, make sure to do the BD admin and then uh, spire or whatever name and then edit. And that will take you back into editor mode and you can change uh, like the spawns, you can see it, at the max players so that is how you uh, go back into editor mode and then once you're done make sure you go ahead and save your map and there we go so that is pretty much set up uh, let's go ahead and test it out and do a few test rounds be sure to check out this video's sponsor, Sangata. Sangata is a new and unique marketplace where you can find free or paid custom plugins. With the help of continuous user and developer feedback, Sangata is continuously working towards making those ideas a reality. Visit the Sangata marketplace and discord with the links below. This plugin does support join signs, so go ahead and place a sign down and you can do a bed wars on the top line surrounded by brackets. And then go ahead on the second line, put the name of your arena and make sure it's case sensitive. So mine is called Spire and there we go. As you see, it is waiting. We can go ahead and right click and here we go. We got imported to the arena and then we can select the different teams. And then the number of teams that you have right here will pop up right here. Currently it's just red and blue for me. So we can go ahead and join a red team and we can go ahead and get my alt and we can go ahead and test out the game. So here is the bronze item. So it is spawning quite nicely, has a little hologram. We also have the scoreboard on the right hand side of the screen, as well as uh, we have a colored tab on top, which is pretty nice. So here is our giant gas, uh, which is the shop. So if we can go ahead and right click it. As you see, here's the shop GUI. We can go ahead and buy the different types of armor. Uh, you can go ahead and buy the different types of blocks. So uh, this is using uh, this economy called bronze. And so you can change all of this. If you want it more like a high pixel shop, you can totally do that just go ahead and uh, customize it in the config I'll show you guys how to set that up a little bit later but here's all the different types of things and here is the price amount and then the amount that you get so there's a lot of uh, cool uh, things that you can do in here and you can uh, customize it all in the config which is really nice and that is a lot of uh, bronze right here and if you guys need to edit the spawner rate system you can do that so I might change that a little bit later so I just died and uh, here is the spectator spawn that we just uh, spawned in and there we go we get some more bronze and we can buy some more of the blocks uh, just like so. So here is the bed and let's go ahead and break the bed and we get a nice little title and we got the nice little uh, message in chat so let's go ahead and like punch him off to this side and we should be able to win this uh, round fairly easily. Look at I'm so skilled guys like look at that I'm so good so uh, we should win this game and there we go as you see we even have have a two kill streak and he also gives us some money for our vault account so our bank account so uh, you can go ahead and execute specific commands uh, whoever wins uh, so you can have like coins or something that is sort of the bed wars plugin uh, pretty self-explanatory hope you guys did enjoy leave a like down below i'll see you guys in the next video peace out